Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for week 2 assignment of data mining course. So friends, please watch the video till the end without skipping because if you skip the video, you may miss some content. Uh, uh, suppose if I change any answer, you will be miss missing that. So please watch the video till the end. So I have tried my level best to give you the 100% correct answers. I believe these are 100% correct. Uh, some other channels are giving uh, some wrong answers uh, but I will show you proof uh, in contrast to them for uh, the doubtful answers so for first question if a store has n items the number of possible item sets is so many others are giving the first option but it is not the first option it is second option 2 4 n minus 1 option B is correct answer I will show you so this is uh, regarding uh, the previous uh, assignment some 2-3 uh, years back assignment so if you see the similar question here they gave L L items number of possible item sets is here you can see 2 power L minus 1 is the answer here re just replace the L with N 2 power N minus 1 so the answer for first question is option b 2 power n minus 1 moving on to the second one an association rule is valid if it satisfies so the answer for second question is it, it is known to everyone that is option c both support and confidence criteria this is available in lecture material and also on the in the lecture videos and third one an item set is frequent if it satisfies so the answer for third question is option a support criteria this is also available in the lectures and fourth one which of the following property is used by the a priori algorithm so many others are giving the option c but it is not option it is not option c it is option d anti monotone property of support this is the correct answer others are giving uh, option c it is wrong it is option d you can uh, even go through the uh, lecture videos and you can see under the a priori principle it will be option d only that is fourth question option d moving on to fifth one consider three uh, items l1 l2 and l3 if you can clearly observe it is uh, l1 has three items l2 has two items l3 has one item which of the following are correct so everyone is giving option C but it is not it is not option C it is option D uh, I will show you the proof also so here this is also previous assessment so once if you can compare V1 has 3 items V2 has 2 V3 has 1 similar to that uh, present assessment so but they gave answer as support of v3 greater than support of v2 that means second option here second option that means uh, the item with uh, the set with one item is greater than set with uh, set with two items so if you compare like that here it should be l3 greater than l2 but they give l2 greater than l3 so it is wrong and also first option is also wrong because here you can see v1 greater than v2 but it's not correct answer it is only second option so in that note option d is the correct answer and moving on to this from 6 to 10th questions here it is based on the transaction table and from here uh, this questions also many of the people are giving wrong answers in their channels so I have taken so much time uh, to give you the correct answers so I have got the correct answers so for sixth question the one item sets that satisfy the support criteria are the answer for sixth question is option C A comma B actually uh, the exact answer is A B and D so here there will be small confusion because we sh sh should we select option D or option C because uh, if, if we consider option D also then it will be none of these if we consider uh, these two as correct so if you, you can consider option C 
but I am understanding this uh, question such as which of the following satisfy the support criteria they are not asking all the uh, options but in that meaning and uh, I can understand from this that which of the following can uh, support the criteria it, it's not about including all the answers but the answers they give whether they are right or wrong so in that note option A and B are correct so I am going with option C if they gave the question like all the support all the item sets then it will be none of these uh, I, I understand this question as which of the following will support so I think an answer C <laughs> Many people are giving option A, but it is wrong. And moving on to seventh one, the two item sets that satisfy the support criteria are. So the answer for seventh question is option B, A, B, B, D, and A, D. So mark option B as correct answer for seventh question. And moving on to the eighth one, the three item sets that satisfy the support criteria are. So for eighth question, uh, the answer for 8th question is option D, A, B, D. Others are giving option B. It is option B is completely wrong. The answer is option D. So mark option D as correct answer for 8th question. Moving on to the ninth one. Which of the following is not a valid association rule? So the answer uh, for ninth question is option C A goes to D it is wrong answer I mean it is not a valid association rule so C is the correct option many others are giving like option D and option B those are wrong option C is the correct answer moving on to the final question 10th one which of the following is not a valid association rule so for this also many people gave wrong the answer the exact answer for this is option A a goes to db it is not the valid association rule so friends these are the uh, solutions for week 2 data mining assignment so hope this video is helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and also share with your uh, friends also so that uh, everyone can know the uh, solutions and can attempt the course and get good marks so if you want uh, for, for further videos and also the other course videos please keep supporting me uh, share with your friends so that it can be easily spread if you give this uh, good support i will continue the other videos so until then goodbye thank you